week nine of the fantasy basketball season and this season is really flying by so far this season and here's a few guards I would look to add on the waiver wire this week. The first guy is Grayson Allen of the Memphis Grizzlies. We know Allen, he had a great college career and he was a great three-point shooter and scorer and this year for the Grizzlies he's ranked 143 in fantasy basketball. 9.8 points a game, 2.9 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 1.1 steals for him, 2.1 threes a game, 886 from the foul line, and 41% from the field. But the last couple weeks, he's really stepped his game up, ranked 75th in that time with 14.2 points a game, 3 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.2 steals, 3.5 threes a game. 87% from the foul line, 47% from the field. So Allen, he's getting opportunities. He started the last few games for the Grizzlies teams. And with injuries to Desmond Bain, DeAndre Melton, he's getting the opportunity. And maybe he'll stay in the lineup until those guys get back. Or even when they get back, he'll just stay in there. But right now, he's a decent pickup. And the last few games, he's had some good games. February 10th. Versus Charlotte, 18 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 5 threes, 75% from the foul line, 38% from the field. Then February 12th at the lake is 23 points, 3 rebounds, an assist, 2 steals, 6 threes, 100% from the foul line, 61% from the field. And last night at Sacramento, he had a mediocre game, but he still shot the ball well, 57% from the field. 10 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, and 2 threes. So Allen, he's going to help you in 3-pointers. His percentages, they're going to be pretty good. And he could have games where he's going to score 15 to 20 points a game if he gets enough shot opportunities from the 3-point line. So I think Allen, he's worth the pickup. And if those guys are going to be out an extended amount of time, he's definitely a guy to go get. And he's available in 88% of fantasy leagues. The next card I look to pick up this week is Lou Williams of the Los Angeles Clippers. Lou Williams, he's starting to get things going finally for the Clippers and fantasy owners. And now Williams, he's had some huge games the last few games on the last on the season. He's ranked 188 in fantasy basketball as Williams. 12 points a game, 2.3 rebounds, 3.5 assists. 88% from the foul line, 43% from the field, and 1.1 threes a game made. But the last two weeks, Williams, he's looked like the old Williams when he won six man of the year. 19.1 points a game, 2.9 rebounds, 5.4 assists, 1.6 threes, 90% from the foul line, and 51% from the field. And the last three games, Lou Williams... He's looking great, man. 10 of 15 from the field February 10th at Minnesota. 27 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 threes. Then February 12th at the Chicago Bulls, 17 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal and a block, 61% from the field. And then last night in the big victory versus the Cavs with no Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Will Williams, he led the charge for this Clipper team with 30 points. Two rebounds, 10 assists, two threes, 45% from the field and 100% from the line. So Will Williams, he's getting his rhythm back. He's scoring the basketball well. And there's going to be a lot of nights where we don't see Paul George or Kawhi Leonard in the lineup. And last night was one of them where Will Williams went for 30 points and 10 assists. And he's available in 34% of fantasy leagues. But I think he should be owned in 10-team leagues or deeper. So if he's somehow out there in your fantasy league, go there and get him. The next card I looked to add this week on waivers is Jay Sean Tate of the Houston Rockets. Tate, the rookie, obviously, he got into a brawl early in the season where James Harden punched him in the face, but now Harden's out of town. Tate's still there, and he's playing pretty decent on the season. He's ranked 146 in fantasy basketball, 9.2 points a game, 5 rebounds, 1.6 assists, Half a three a game, 72% from the foul line, 53% from the field. In the last couple weeks, he's ranked number 99 overall with 11 and a half points a game, 5.6 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 90% from the foul line, and 57% from the field. So Tate, we know he could score the basketball decent. He gives you other intangibles where he's a decent rebounder. 
and he could also pass the basketball pretty well in the last few games. He's played pretty good February 9th in New Orleans. 13.7 rebounds, 2 assists, 66% from the field. Then versus Miami, February 11th, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And then at the Knicks a couple nights ago, 4 or 10 from the field, 9 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. So Tate, he's playing about 30, 35 minutes a game right now. And that's a good thing here for the youngster. He's going to learn on the fly. This Rocket team, they're really starting to struggle now, losing five in a row. And it might be time where the youngsters start playing. And I could see Oladipo getting traded again here from this Rocket team. And Oladipo, he's missing tonight's game as well. So Tate, he'll have another decent role. And he's a player you should definitely go out there and get him. He's available in 82% of fantasy leagues. The next card to add this week's Michael Carter-Williams. Of the Orlando Magic, the former Rookie of the Year, years ago, Carter Williams, he stepped up now, and he's playing good, but it's really the last man standing, it seems like, at that point guard position, with Fultz out for the season, we saw Cole Anthony, he's hurt, and he's been out the last three or four games, and then we saw Frank Mason, the third, out, so Carter Williams, the last man going, like I said, for this Magic team on the season, he's ranked 334, with 7.9 points a game, 5 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 75% from the foul line, and an awful 36% from the field. But the last couple weeks now, he's playing better, is Williams, since he got the opportunity, 17.5 points a game, 4.5 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 71% from the foul line. But his percentage is still way down there in the dumps at 40%. But the last two games... Since he, he had a lot of DMPs and coaches' decisions, but now with no choice, he's playing 25, 30 minutes a game as Carter Williams. And February 12th at Sacramento, 21 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, 75% from the line, 43% from the field. And then last night at Phoenix, another decent game for Carter Williams. 14 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. But 35% from the field to Carter Williams. He's good at scoring. Decent rebounds and assists he'll get your fantasy team. But he's going to hurt the percentages. He don't shoot the three ball at all. And his turnover rate could be a little high. But right now, like I said, he's the only man standing over there in Orlando. Even though Orlando, they don't play another game till the 17th. But Cole Anthony, we don't know how long he's going to be out. Maybe... They're taking it easy with the young rookie is the magic that they can have him towards the end of the season. But Carter Williams, he's available in 77% of fantasy leagues. And I don't think he's a bad ad right now. And the fifth and final guard to add on waves this week is Kendrick Nunn and the Miami Heat. Nunn, I keep talking about him each and every week. I think this is the third week in a row he's been on this list. And he keeps producing. Goran Dragic still out. Avery Bradley, he's going to be out a few more weeks, I believe. And none, he's been putting up pretty decent numbers and stats on the season. He's ranked 121 with 13.8 points a game, 3.4 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.2 steals, 1.8 threes a game, 86% from the foul line, 47% from the field. And the last couple weeks, he's ranked number 64 in fantasy basketball, 18.2 points a game. 4.4 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 3 threes a game, 85% from the foul line, and 50% from the field. And the last few games, none, he's played pretty well. Versus New York, February 9th, 11 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 threes, and a steal. Then at Houston, February 11th, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, a whopping 4 steals. And then at Utah, 2 nights ago, 34 minutes, 23 points, 3 rebounds, Three steals, a block, four threes. So Kendrick Nunn, he's helping in scoring. He's shooting the three ball pretty well right now. And he steals the basketball also. He don't really get many assists, but he helps in other categories, which is good for fantasy basketball. And even if Drogic and Bradley come back, I think Nunn, he deserves playing time anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes a game. Right now, he's playing anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes a game. But even with those guys coming back, I think he deserves a big role, and he's definitely a guy worth adding. What Jonas still don't believe the hype, I believe. He's available in 56% of fantasy leagues, and I would go out there 
and get him. So that's a few guards that will look to add on waivers here in week nine of the fantasy basketball season.